welcome to my intuitive energy channel hope you're all doing well i uh, just read some of your comments uh i i can't sleep tonight so i thought i'd come on and do do some readings okay and uh Heike said keep them coming because she can't sleep either so uh this is for you Heike okay and uh, for everybody else as well but I wanted to look at with this uh, with this reading is um is Kate going to return is she going to return to public duties um I think I did pick up on one of the readings that she was going to return but then uh it's going to be a while but I just wanted to look into that is is she going to return like let's have a look. I I said in a you know like in a wheelchair or like uh, Princess Margaret um I also picked up on on one of the last reading that I did that uh, Alma Hall and fire came up. So I don't know what that was about, but uh, that seemed a little bit urgent. Um, so maybe maybe there's a little bit of a warning there. I feel so. I've, I'm using my medieval deck this time, okay, and I may actually go to my homemade cards, but. Um, I want to have a look here. Is she going to return? Uh, we'll look at the energies. And I'm picking up that she's feeling really lousy right now. She feels quite dizzy. She's a little bit, I feel she's quite thin. Um, and bless her, okay. Um, and um, yeah, let, let, let's pull out some cards here. Is she going to return? Is she going to return? Um, I get the seven of pentacles, seven of pentacles, what does the seven of pentacles mean? Well, it normally means that she's going to be cutting off the dead wood. She's going to be cutting off the dead wood. Uh, and that also can mean taking a break, taking a break. So taking a break, um, patience and trust clearing the clutter and taking stock, taking stock. So this could also be um, the illness that she's trying to get over, but also why she got ill in the first place. Was it because, you know, reflecting on that? Uh, was it because she was overstressed, stressed, overworked, uh, you know, being kind of, constantly utterly thoroughly manipulated and controlled um uh yeah she's escaping her own feelings i get that too at the moment with a preoccupation of something else which is an investment her own money, what she owns herself, you know. I don't know why. Um, maybe she, you know, I don't know. I can't speculate on that. I've just got a card that says that uh, she's looking at her. If you could put your comments in the comments section. Um, and, and I also get the King of Pentacles here in reverse. King of Pentacles in reverse. I feel this is Harry, but there's a little bit of a warning here about Harry. If she's thinking about contacting him and talking to him because about, about his brother. Um, this person's quite unstable. Uh, this is what this card says, okay, in verse. Uh, inflexible, uh, unstable. You don't know what this person's going to do next kind of thing. Um, a little bit corrupt, um, in need of security. Well, is that in need of security that that says Harry all over? Okay. Um, he's paranoid because, and, and Harry comes in here because he feels like Kate's getting treated in the same way. Um, so there may be a little bit of, you know, you can come onto our camp if you like, because 
I was treated like that too. I had all my security taken away. I felt very threatened my life. I felt threatened that somebody would end my life because I had no security. And I felt that was taken away for that purpose and that purpose alone. So this Harry here, but can she trust him? Can she trust Harry? I feel that Harry, uh, you know, if she had that conversation with Harry, I, I feel that she has got to be careful, but I feel she's tempted to talk to him. Um, she's got two roads to go down, either stay with the royal family and the firm or to go her own way. Now, on, on the last reading, I did pick up something like in Switzerland or somewhere a little bit obscure, not not being, um, you know, not being uh, telling her stories and things like that. I think uh, like have a payout uh, settlement maybe a divorce settlement, and I'm going to live somewhere quite obscure, I don't know, like Zurich, Switzerland. Um, I don't know. I'm thinking about where, where, where it's obscure. Um, I think somewhere in Europe or somewhere like that anyway. I can't think of My My head's gone blank. Uh, so... Um, so she's looking at what what she could do, her creativities here to do with children. I mean, is she thinking about writing a children's book? Because, you know, that would be a sellout, wouldn't it? If if Kate Middleton, you know, wrote a children's book, that would be a, a, a real sellout. And I feel she's looking at creative projects with this card creative projects here, uh, good news about money investments, property, our work. That's strange, isn't it, that, that I keep picking up at that she's focusing on her own investments, what she owns, what she can earn. I don't know what why I'm picking that up, but I have picked that up. Um, she wants to be very peaceful. Yeah, she wants to she wants to be happy with the sun card. She wants to be happy. She may be saying to um she may be uh broaching this with William. Yeah, I'm tired of this. I just want to be happy and I'm tired of this control with Camilla and, and the firm and all of this kind of thing. Um, but he's a big part of that, isn't he? He is a big part of that, is William. I think she's hoping that he'll give it up and go with her or something like that. Um, because this is very kind of risque, kind of um, <coughs> very enthusiastic to to uh and reckless with this card and reckless very reckless and enthusiastic i think that's what she'll get is 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 like a blank face what you, you what are you talking about here we, we can't do that you know that kind of the suggestion will be just made to look really you know will just be ridiculed um So there's a sense of loss here. So she's had to give up her, pretty much sell her, sell her soul here down the river because there is a sense of loss here. It's like she's she sold her spirit, you know, on that, uh, you know, sacrificial altar. <laughs> um and it continues that she sacrifices, 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 you know, sacrificing her own self here. And she feels trapped. She feels trapped. But it's in reverse. So she feels trapped, but she wants to break free from this prison, 
from this trap. She wants to break free from this. She wants to escape from this because she feels like she has sacrificed too much of herself to be in the situation. The hangman. And I think this is occur, you know, be occurring to her because of her illness. Um, she's understanding. I'm trying to reverse. Uh, There's a reversal of values. <coughs> so if she had certain values, it would have been reversed and and all kind of confused and and gaslighted and, and, and made her feel like she didn't know whether, whether she was coming or going with her reality. Um, the Ace of Cups is love, okay, is love. And the Ace of Cups is the love for her children, love for William. Maybe, you know, she's, she's in love with William. Um, and her children, but she feel she's saying, and I feel she's saying to William, "Yeah, I care for you, and I, 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 I love you, but I, I've sacrificed my health. I've sacrificed my health, health. I can't say it for this. Yeah, I've sacrificed my health for this." That's interesting. And this ending of this infatuation of this whole situation of being in the royals, okay, and the royal family is over. Confusion, uncertainty about a relationship. It's like she's saying, I love you, but I love you, but I've sacrificed. I've nearly killed myself to be in this family. Um, I, I can't really see Catherine being so um, radical and saying that to the firm, uh, to William, saying, how oh, much, look, at, look, I've nearly lost my life here, sacrificing my life for this family. I can't see her doing that. Um, I think she's held so much down so much down that it's become this festing disease inside of her. Um, and it's become a little bit of a mental illness here. The, the moon card, the moon card in reverse could be, uh, you know, the, the, this relationship is plagued with fantasy confusion Um and it's turned this person a bit screwy. <coughs> Excuse me for coughing. And I get, you know, the stabs in the back with the rose situation, and it's in reverse. She's tired of this, tired, so tired of this. Um, how much I sacrificed for this, and I get liberation, wanting liberation from this. I think she's wanted liberation from this for a long time. And now and now she's gaining strength here and insight of really what's been going on here. And this is like an awakening, the rebirth card. It's like, you know, strip naked, not not this is just metaphorically uh, stripped naked and walking out of this door and it's a rebirth and a revelation of a starting anew here, a different person because of her suffering and what she's been through. Because everything has been just a fantasy. You know, everything has been served up like a fantasy and uh, gaslit. All, all the way here. Uh, none of it's been true. Or that this is what the cards are saying, and she's questioning the relationship now. Is it? It's has it just been a lie? 
as it as as all of this just been a lie and it's all kind of dawning on her you know uh how much and, and she this is where she is gaining her power with the ace of swords And I get this, this is like whenever she whenever she had an opinion and tried to voice her opinion, she was shamed, raged at and shamed for actually saying a word. How dare you say that to me? I, you know, we you're just a mere commoner and I'm a I'm a rock. How dare you? So shamed over this. And again, that's a another manipulation tactic. Um, but it's in reverse, so I get here, this person saying, I'd rather die, I might physically die, but I feel it's like, I'd rather die than not speak my peace now, so she's gaining her strength, um, and um, somebody wants to reconcile with Kate, somebody wants to reconcile with Kate, but let's okay, okay. We did we didn't treat you right. You got ill over this. It was too much for you, too much stress. We piled on the pressure. Let's bury the hatchet and start again. So this is what's going on while she's having this uh, rest. This rest. Um, it's like let's bury the hatchet here and let's work through this. Let's work through this. Let's bury the hatchet and work through this but she's ready to walk away from this and go to that peaceful place I don't know where it is Austria Zurich Switzerland wherever it is she's ready to go and um uh but there's like you know this like this new chapter with this card it's a a new cycle is beginning, but this is being blocked, is this new beginning, this new cycle, it's being blocked, not in allow allowing her to do this. Um, and I get the Queen of Wands. I'm not sure the Queen of Wands is. I, I feel it could be Rose, it could be Camilla, it could be Diana. Um I don't feel this is Kate. I feel it's somebody else. Somebody's blocking her. I feel this is Camilla. Um, she seems to have power and control over that monarchy now. So um, yeah, I get complete stagnation with the death card in reverse. You know, the death card is the ending, the ending, like moving on, the ending, uh, death of a, a cycle and that kind of thing. But it's in reverse, also blocking this ending, okay. So blocking, 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 blocking. This female is blocking this new cycle and the ending here blocking it I feel this woman is trying to push her over the edge in fact I feel that she's already over the edge but I feel like she's you know this is going um and the, you know she, she's um she's she's holding these enemies back is Kate is, is holding these enemies back. This is a complete struggle, a challenge. Uh, you know, we get power struggle here. I mean, Kate is really poorly at home, and yet Camilla is still worried about this power struggle rather than her getting better. You know, still bitching behind her back, although she's just come out of a major surgery or something, and, you know, she's got zero empathy um which is a big red flag isn't it when somebody does that um and and we have the high priestess and this is like a gut feeling a gut feeling of of whatever this is it's like um somebody's losing their strength here obviously if you're ill you're losing your strength but there's no i mean this this woman is weaponizing this 
This woman is weaponizing the fact that um, she's ill. Can you believe that? Wow. It's saying here, don't blame Camilla because, you know, her childhood forced her to be like this to survive. Really? <laughs> I'm not going to say anything. Okay. Because at the heart of it, she's quite a kind person. I didn't get that. Um, she's a good person, really. She's just very lazy with it. Okay, I don't know what this is trying to say. Is she going to come back? I feel this all this mess here to sort out this this craziness, this crazy making here to actually sort out first before she even decides whether she wants to stay and carry on. Um, I think that's what's going on here. Um, but I feel there's going to be, she's going to take a gamble because this is the royal family in, in the upright position. But when it's in reverse, this is, this person's going to turn away from this family and walk away. She will be demoted here. Um, she'll lose her titles, possibly. Um, the sheer arrogance of this, uh, she'll lose, lose, her, lose her title. That's what that is, losing leadership, demoting, um, loss of control. Yeah, well, this is like if she did leave, she would lose her titles, she would be demoted. Um, um, and, you know... Gosh, if Kate did that, it would. I feel it would be the end of the monarchy if if that happened. Um, but that's, you know, I feel that she's she's too weak to do this. She's thinking about this, but I feel that William is thinking, ah, she'll not do that. She won't do that. If we just pile on the manipulation, she she won't do that. And she's very much on her own and quite lonely with the hermit card. So while she's sitting at home healing, getting better, um, he's garden parties, getting along with uh, as if nothing's happening. Um, Oh, I have to say this is a little bit sad. And and to be honest with you, she wants to follow her heart. She would like to, she would like to live the life now that she would uh oh, because I get the Lord, uh, I feel this is William, or it could be Charles, is not what was expected, is in reverse. The Lord in reverse is power struggles. Uh, this person's quite weak, uh, can have a harsh nature, is a petty dictator, a tyrant, um, very insecure and judgmental. I feel that's William. And the King of Swords, we get the men in grey, which is the men in grey, which is MI5, MI6, and... Ah, they get these men in grey involved to keep an eye on her, you know. Um, I think she's stuck, but she does want to move into karma waters. Is she coming back? This is going to take a while. This is going to take a while, so I feel we'll, we'll need to revisit this. Um, it's going to take a while, and I said that with the other reading. It's going to be a while. It's going to take a while to sort this out because it's a complete, utter chaos, okay? Um, and I get the tower trying to prevent the destruction, 
that's the destruction of the tower, which is the monarchy. They're trying to stop the destruction because they know. I feel this is why they introduced uh, this, um, this, you know, this uh, other woman in here, this Rose, because if she did, you know, I mean, that's stupidity, complete utter stupidity to do that. Um, <clears throat> to taunt her, the King of Cups is in reverse. The King of Cups in reverse is William. It's unable to escape manipulation, unable to um, unable to control Kate anymore, and is becoming quite self-destructive. She, they can't control her. She's kind of woken up to this. And the, why she's woken up to this is because she's got ill over their, their control, their, you know, be all the pressure, um, very much like Diana. And it's funny how, how I picked it up that it's affecting her gut and her bowels and all that. Um. It's going to, I, I, I'll finish this off by saying this is going to take a while for this to be sorted out because I do get that she's woken up to this and she's not going to do it anymore. That's what I'm getting here. Their marriage is on the rocks. I get that. Okay. Um, one more card to finish. I get the fox here. She's learning how to be a little bit crafty. It's not in her nature, but she's learning how to be like the fox. Be as clever as what they are. She's ready to leave, okay. Her bags are packed and she's ready to get out of there. They're trying to sort this out. It's a mess. I'm going to leave it there. Okay. Please put your comments in the comments section and hope you sleep okay, everyone that can't sleep. And I hope this has helped you. Um, but put your comment. It is a card reading. I, I'll disclaimer, disclaimer. It's a card reading. And it's an intuitive card reading, and it's not fact, and it's to be viewed as uh, entertainment purposes only, okay, and controversy and speculation, and that's it, okay, nothing serious, it's just nothing serious, not to be taken as serious, okay. So I'm going to leave it there. Please put comments in the comments section, like, shares and thumbs up. Okay, and bye for now. Bye-bye.